us to Hardcore Mode Challenge Round 2 between me, Mirgloff, versus v Mr. Vitigus. And we left off with me in a cave system, having finally found one. And I was looking for either diamond or lava, so that I can either mine obsidian with a diamond pick, or use the lava to create obsidian in the shape of a portal. Because my immediate goal is to get to the nether, where we are supposed to store our resources like we agreed in the rules. Shit. Shit. Such a weird sound. I... Oh, what the fuck? Hey, who, what? The Christ. Okay. Ow. Shit, 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 shit. Don't, don't. I'm really just getting, taking it from this skeleton while I'm trying to deal with that creeper. That was intense. I, let's eat this zombie flesh. Just to heal up real quick. I know it poisons my hunger, but... I don't want to waste a whole thing of, uh... Pork. On, uh, or beef. On just healing a couple of hearts. Because I only had, like... I was only down, like, uh... Three hunger bars. Very come up this way. Yeah, I'm starting to go up. I don't really want to go up. I want to go down. Yeah. I think I just went up this way to deal with the water flow. I better deal with this creeper because he can get me with that. There's some obsidian, but I can't mine it. <laughs> Get this iron though. At least get uh yeah. Will be profitable if I don't find diamonds, but kind of a waste of time. Cause until I store those resources in the nether, it doesn't count. Oh, there's some lava. I don't think I can get that though, cause it's flowing lava. I think I can only pick up uh, lava that's standing as a source block. And I know I saw that lava over there, but it's a good idea to get this coal. Because I'm going to need a lot of coal for torches and uh, cooking. Cooking my resources. But mainly torches. Uh, I'm going to just spam the hell out of torches around my base and other areas that I frequent on this challenge. Oh, there's... Oh, this is an interesting formation. And... Kinda lost here, but I think this is the way I come, go, well, I'm not lost, as long as I follow my torches, because you may notice I've been putting them on the right-hand side. So, it's that way, you know, I'm not going to get lost very easily. I can just follow the wall of torches on the left, even though it's kind of like a maze. Oh, here we go, standing lava. So that's all I really needed. Well, I need more than that, but I may have to come back this way, so... Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking about digging a stairway up from this spot so that I can come right back here when I need to. So I'll do it like this.
Okay, so I'm pretty close to the surface. I can hear some sheep. So yeah. Not really sure where I am is the problem, but... Oh, I know where I am. So, where did I just leave that hole? Right here. And... I'll use this cobble here to... Uh, weird, weird uh, shifting of FPS. It's not really lagging so much as it's. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll just. Hmm, I don't want to build anything. I don't want to build like a tall pillar because I'll fall unless I do it. This. Look at how many sheep there are. That's ridiculous. It's a good, but a good kind of ridiculous, but not useful in this, uh, this series. There we go. It's a very weird structure, but it will stand out so that I know where to go. When, look at all these sheep. That's intense. Very cool mountain structure here. It'd be cool to build like a f castle or a fortress up there. I don't know that I will. I don't really have any building goals. I might come up with some, but I just haven't thought of any right now. So I'm mostly primarily focused on uh, getting to the nether and then getting resources. Uh, once I have all that stuff figured out, I probably will end up uh, coming up with some kind of goal for a structure to build. Because otherwise it's just going to be, until one of us dies, just mining. Which there will still be a lot of, but once I feel like I've sort of in the lead or something, I'll do like the tortoise and the hare. I'll be the hare and I'll just... Uh, Say I'm far enough ahead. But that doesn't mean I'm going to deliberately lose. No, I'm not going to do that. But... Okay, where do I want to build the... Okay, how I will do it is I need dirt. Uh, did I store any... Over here? Not really, so I'm going to have to use cobble. But how this is going to work is I need to... that, and I need some water, so probably should build an infinite pool nearby, which I'll go ahead and do right now, and I still need to grab one more bucket of water, and hopefully I don't screw this up and make cobblestone, that would be dumb. I'm pretty sure that the water needs to go over the top of the lava to make obsidian. Oh, don't fall in. So, there we go. There's one obsidian block. Well, I don't need the. You don't need to make the corner pieces to the portal, so. Hmm. So this will be the bottom, I guess. One of the bottom ones. Two on the bottom, two on the top, three on the side. So. Now I want to do this. So we're about, hmm, uh, a fifth of the way done with making this portal the slow way, but I 
could not find any diamonds, so this is going to have to be like this. I'll sleep in my bed to make sure mobs don't spawn, then I'll run back to that cave where the lava is. I'll be sure to empty this water bucket so that I can pick up two buckets of lava. Okay, I'll leave that there for now. It would almost be faster if I just made more two more buckets. I really don't need this cobblestone or at least not this much of it nor this gravel really. Uh, I don't need that either. Um, okay that's good enough. No, I don't want to sleep. Buckets. Two more. It'll speed up this process a bit. And I don't need that rotten flesh either, really, but... Oh well. Oh. And so now I need to get more... I need to empty this. I need to get more of that lava. I'll use this ender pearl, I guess, to speed myself up. That didn't really get me very far, and it kind of hurt me, but oh well. Uh, I'll go ahead and eat this. It's kind of a waste, but I need to heal. So, and I have a good amount of food for now. I need to build a farm while I do have a good amount of food. I do have both red and brown mushrooms too, so in emergency I guess I can make a uh, mushroom tree of each, so I can make mushroom soup. I really don't like mushroom soup though, because it does not stack, so it's not really good for carrying around. I know Vidicus swears by it, but it's clog clogging up the inventory space is what I think. And a wooden bowl stack, but like the soup itself does not. I really think I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how spawn rates work, but uh, I don't know if like if there's a bunch of sheep, if that means that there'll be less cows. I think I think it's not like how it used to be because I remember how it used to be. Is if you oh cows, it's in my best interest to go kill them. But uh, how it used to be was that. You could only have, uh, like, what was it, like, 32 mobs at a time? Like, friendly mobs? So if you had, like, uh, like, uh, I guess, 16 sheep, it would prevent how many, you know, chickens or who else to spawn. And that's generally how it worked before, I remember, uh, when I used to make a animal farm with just uh, like torches in a closed off, sealed off area at night and just, you know, killed the pigs and then uh, sheep would spawn, kill the sheep, and then cows would spawn. Oh, whoa, come on. Hey. Crap, crap. Ambush. Wow, I did not see that coming. Better light this area off. To an extent, I guess this looks like it's also another cave. I don't want to go exploring that. I already know where lava is. Alright, so, don't need the corner pieces. So I need to... put in a bucket of lava like that. What? Why didn't it make an infinity pool? An infinite pool of water. That's very odd. 
There you go. And some water. And another one high. And one more. Wait. Okay, good. I thought I was maybe stacking it on there like that. I gotta do this the most efficient way, otherwise I'm going to have to make a third trip, which would annoy me. Just a little bit more complicated. Well, no, I knew it would be complicated. But... Well, actually, this is kind of simpler than I originally thought it would be when Goodman's, Goodman's Ghost suggested that I build a portal this way. So... Three. Uh, oops, sort of repaired my pick. Oh well. And so I'll just go make another one. I know I have a stone and an iron pick, but they're about to break, so I don't want to use them. Because I can use them to repair the next one that gets down on durability. So this isn't necessary anymore. <clears throat> Oops. There. Okay. So one lava there. And that is good. Next, I need to be right here. Alright, but I need to go get some more lava first. And so that's another trip back. Uh, I'll time lapse this trip back, I guess. It's a bit. It's two time lapses in a row, but okay. Okay, so I quickly got all that done, and there should be some bad guys out here, yeah. Look for creepers, though, specifically. And it might be good to collect these arrows and tonight. These arrows and bones, hopefully. Bones will come in handy with bone meal. And I know I saw a couple over here. It's rare for skeletons to not drop anything. Hmm. Oh well, at least there's not any creepers really all around. But we can go ahead and finish. making this portal. And in the next episode, I'll end up being in another. But, eh. This is going to be kind of a long episode. Okay. And now I need water. Go ahead and do that. Just make it easier to get up here. There we go. And now I just need to... Oh. Well, actually, I need this here. I can tear down the rest of this side, because I don't need this side anymore. Look at that. It's taking shape. Right now it's a C, but soon it'll be a portal. And... I just sort of kind of have to do what I did with this side on the other side. Hopefully that should only take about 
Well, I don't even need to clean up the rest of that. I don't really care about how it looks. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Up to one. but that's okay because this video has gone on for longer than I would like it to but I'll end it with by making flint and steel and well no I'll do that in the next video but anyways if you have not already go ahead and check out Vidicus's uh, perspective I'll leave a link when he uploads it and thank you for or if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.